Good morning. This is Shafkar Mehmood once again in front of you with a new lab. Uh, in today's lab, we have a scenario for you to understand for the better understanding of the uh, networking. In uh, uh, in front of you, here is the diagram in which I am using the router, 1841 series of the router. The router is connected with the switch. Almost keep in your mind when we connect the router with the switch, always we use the last port of the switch. That is the last port of the switch 24, and that port is connected with the port of the router. The port number is fast Ethernet zero slash zero with the straight cable. Here you see with the straight cable. And then I'm going to connect the switch with the laptop, and definitely these are the different devices. So I'm using the straight cable as well. And here is the IP address I will configure. 200.200.50.2 on the laptop and I will configure this lab IP address on the router's interface and I will perform all the things on the router using this console connectivity. So in today's lab I am going to use router, switch and I need two straight cables, two PCs, one for the communication testing and the other PC uh, we need for the configuration of the router. Okay, and uh, today lab, the most important thing, I'm not going to perform this lab in front of you. I'm inviting one of my students, he's from USA. Uh, he's almost with me for the last 15 days. And uh, today's lab, he will perform the lab in front of you. So I would like to invite Mr. Daniel, and Mr. Daniel will join you uh, right after the uh, pause. Hello everyone, I'm, first of all I'm very thankful to Mr. Shafkar Mahmood uh, for inviting me to explain this topology we have here and I'm just going to try to explain this basic topology as you can see in this topology we have a router, a switch and two PCs first PC is connected to the router with the console cable we're going to just use this to configure some basic configuration on the router is just like the host name and setting up IP address we're going to use that same console cable and PC with the other switch to just change the name and do some basic configurations and then we're just going to assign some IP addresses and test out this topology this, this type of cable you can see here this curve is usually console cable and we're going to use straight cables as we're dealing with different devices. When we have devices that are different uh, layer devices, we call them uh, network layer devices, we always use straight cables. So I'm just going to show you all that in physical. We need, first of all, we need two straight cables. As you can see here, the color scheme on both sides is same which means it's a straight cable I have the other one here and then the most important thing we need to configure is this console cable we're going to use USB console cable because the new laptops they don't have the old DB9 connectors and we have the router here and the switch we have two laptops we have everything ready first thing we're going to do is connect the, the switch with the router as always go according to the topology, it helps you and you, you get less confused. We set it up on as there are two different fast Ethernet uh, slots on there and we're just going to use fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Just plug it in and just use the last four ports for connecting. Whenever you connect the switch with the router, you usually use last four ports. It's a good practice. We're going to use the last one. 24. As you see, both lights on both sides go up, it means the connection is working. Let's put in the other straight cable on the first port. We're going to use the first port so we don't get confused here. And put in the, my PC here, which in this case is my laptop. The lights are, should go up on both sides. I, I don't have, I think, the light there, but you can see the light here going up. It's going to change from orange to green within a few seconds. It just takes, the switch takes its time. And now we need the control cable. At first, we're going to, this PC, I'm going to use this PC for configuration. Just plug it in. 
and then the other side which is RJ45 you see console cable is usually blue and the port it is uh, marked blue so you don't get confused just plug it in okay and then okay for always whenever we connect a PC with a laptop or a switch we need a software called PuTTY which gives us access to that configuration interface is usually called a uh, command uh, command line we use that to configure uh, the whatever configuration we need to set up that file okay. okay go okay as you can see the interface it's going to always ask you the port number and the host name the first thing you want is down here there are different connection types. All we need is the serial one. Usually, for all control cables, it's the serial port. Just click on it, and it's gonna automatically give you a port number and the speed. You always use 9600 speed. If you don't, there is a speed mismatch, which uh, which is not good for the connection. Your connection is gonna give you an error. So for this laptop, whenever you need to see the COM port, for this laptop there is COM6. It can be different on yours. Uh, six. It is different for different laptops, so make sure you check it first. Okay. Very good. For, okay, for better zoom and visibility, always you can just click on top, go in the settings, change settings, go in appearance, go to change. You can do it bold and 16 is usually good to set it up there so now you can see it easily. This is a basic uh, whenever you're going to connect a new device or a device which does not have any configuration on, on it, this is going to give you this message. It is asking you would you like to enter the initial configuration that like you always do no because you want your own kind of settings on there. So just do no. And it's going to take some time as the router is a computer like any other PC. Okay, here we go. Okay, as soon as you do no, it's going to take you to the user mode. As you can see, it's in the default, mode, uh, default settings as we have the name router, like nobody changed it. So we're just going to go from global mode to the second mode, which is called privileged mode. You, all you need is enable command. Just type in enable and just press enter, it takes you to the next. And all we need to do here is change the host name and give it an IP address. Which is all uh, that we can do is in the configuration mode, which is the third mode, is called global configuration mode. All the configurations and changes you want to do to the, to the router are usually done in the third one. This privilege mode is usually used for uh, basic. If you want to see the commands and the configuration, just type in some show commands. But we don't want to discuss that now. We're just going to go to configuration mode, which you just type in. It's called configuration terminal. And you just you can just type in config. As the router is a computer, and it's smart enough to know you just want to go to configuration mode. Just type this in. It takes you to the configuration mode. You can see the symbol. If it's says config your already in the configuration mode. First basic thing you want to do with the router is change the host name, which you can do by using basic hostname command and just typing whatever you want. We're gonna give it R1 according to our quality we discussed earlier. Just press enter. You see the name is changed from router to R1. It's usually a good practice to so always change your router whenever you get a new router or like you buy an R1. Second thing, according to topology we discussed, we want to give an IP address to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 because that one is connected to the switch. So to go to the interface mode, we're going to do interface fast Ethernet then 0 slash 0, just press enter. It's going to take you to that specific interface mode and now you can do different kind of settings give the IP address or do some security things on that interface but we don't want to do anything else just IP address so just type in basic command which is IP address now 
According to topology, we have 200 to 100 of 50 by 1. 200 to 100 to 50 by 1. That's the reason we first make our topology. You can just write it down on a paper so you don't get confused. And we're, anytime you want to give an IP address, it, it is, it is going to ask you what is the subnet wise. So we're just going to give it a class full subnet mask. We're going to keep, keep it simple. 255. Yeah, 255. This is the subnet mask for class C addresses. Just press enter. And now the interface, which before have, did not have an IP address, now it has an IP address of 200.100.50.1 with its subnet mask. Next thing we want to do now, this only according to topology we needed these two things. And the next thing, always remember whenever you give an interface an IP address, give it the command of no shot because uh, uh, when the router comes, uh, it's uh, after you give the interface an IP address. The next thing you want to do is no shot command. What it does is it makes the yes. interface link up. You saw that message. Line protocol line interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero change state to up. But before all the interfaces on router are down, you have to give it no shot command to make it make the link up. Now we have the basic configuration figure. We just do exit, go back, exit. Now all these settings we did, they're still in the running configuration. You want to save all these settings in the startup configuration. Okay, for that there's a basic command. You just do wr and press enter. It's gonna just save all the configurations you did. And now you can just basically reload, press enter. Proceed with your confirm. Usually in the flash, the iOS of the router or the switch is saved, and the configuration is always saved in the MVRAM. So now we did all that configuration. We're in the user mode, we're gonna go to the privilege mode to see and verify did we do all that configuration or not. First command is a simple one, we're just gonna do show startup to see if that was saved in the startup. Okay. Here you can see the host name was changed to R1 and you can just press space, go down and now you can see the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 which we wanted to connect with the router has an IP address of 200.100.50.1 and it's, it doesn't say shot so it means it's up. Okay. We did that. The next command we want to do is show IP interface brief. It's going to show us that the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 has an IP address of 200.100.50.1, which is correct. And then the protocol is up and the status is up, which means that this interface is physically up and also logically up. Now we want to test our interface and you can just do that by using basic command you just type in ping and just put in your IP address. We are going to do that ping 200.100.50.1 And let's see success, all the 5 packets were delivered which means uh, interface is up and it's, it's communicating with itself. That's, that's the basic command you use to test your interfaces. Okay, for the first step we did, we configured some basic configuration on the router. Now we want to switch it to, we want to take that console port out and put it in the console port of the switch, which we have down here. Okay, the switch, right. now we want to configure the switch. According to quality, all we need to do is just give it a name. So we know which switch it is. Okay, here we have the 
which is as there was no configuration previously done on the switch, it gave us the message. So you just want to do is no. It's going to take you to the switch. No configuration installed, which means that the name was same. All you want to do is go in configuration mode and just give it host name. Switch. Switch A. That's it. We just put exit it. And we have done some, all the configuration we needed for the router and the switch. Now we want to give the PC the IP address and always make sure you want to give it the same. Three. Okay, we want to give the PC for testing purposes, which in this case is my laptop. We want to give it the same IP address which we gave to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port of that router. Because whenever you want to go past that router and you want to go to another network, the router want to know what is your network ID and it has to be the same ID. So then the router can take that traffic to wherever you want to go. We're going to come here now. That's your my PC. You just go in the adapter settings. Open network and sharing center. Go to your ethernet. Go to your ethernet settings. Go to properties, and for here we're using IP version four. You just click on there and do properties. There is an IP address. You just do obtain automatically. Click back here, and now you want to give that IP address, which according to topology should be 200.100.50.2 because they should have the same network ID. Again, this topology is helping us. We're getting less confused. That's why you always want to write it down for less confusion. So that's 200.100.50.2 and the subnet mask is usually it's default and it's set automatically and if I wanted to go to the next any other network ID I would give it the default gateway of the router so it can take that traffic to wherever I want to go or communicate you just do that click OK close your settings and now all we have to do to test this is ping the interface of that router. Just do same ping command 200.100.50.1 and it should ping. You can see it's pinging which means everything is good. The first packet was lost because it did not have the address of that. Uh, the interface it was trying to ping, so it, it kept it old, and after that it was ping. It only happens the first time, and after that, that address comes in the routing table, and you don't have to pay. Okay, everyone, as we were successful in doing configuration and I'm doing all this physically, all this quality, and I just want to thank all of you that. You, try, you came here, you saw this video, and I want to thank Mr. Shafkat Mahmood that he gave me this opportunity to explain this quality to all of you guys as I'm just a student like you guys. I'm a senior student in university, and in just 10 days I was able to set up this network. I previously had no network knowledge, nothing at all. And this is the name of the academy I'm in currently, so without wasting your time, go online. Search Easy Expert, they have their own website, you can go on Facebook. Also, you can go on YouTube and search uh, CCNA by Mr. Shukat Mahmood and watch his lectures. They're very basic, very easy. I, as I said earlier, I had no knowledge, but I'm here configuring this quality in front of you guys, which is like a miracle. Thank you very much and join us.